Ice created a buzz the other day saying he was stuck on an airplane. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. Let's talk about viruses in the airport. Researchers in Finland had a great idea. They went to an airport in 2015 and 2016 and researched what's the dirtiest, most virus contaminated surfaces in the airport, okay? So what do you, what do you think it is? You think it's the, the, the kiosk you go to? I mean, what do you think it is? You think it's the elevator button? I'm uh, not sure. Um, well, guess what it is? You know how you go to security every single time you go to the airport? Well, guess what? You know those little bins that you pick up? Those are filthy. They are covered in all kinds of viruses. Rhinovirus, that's the common cold. Adenovirus, and other viruses too. I mean, think about it. How many times do you actually wash your hands right after touching those airport bins? It's true. I mean, rhinovirus, adenovirus, coronavirus, those sound like action figures, right? Exactly. But they're actually the common source of our viruses mm -hmm. that we normally get, right. common colds, the times where people come into the clinic and they right. have a sniffly cough right. cold, exactly. right? So after you walk through security, what do you normally do, right? I mean, if it's the morning, I know I'm hungry. I'm trying to get that breakfast sandwich <laughs> as soon as possible. That's true. And I mean, I'm thinking like, do I really wash my hands the second I walk through security? Not really, but guess what? I'm going to. This is a perfect example of a public health issue that needs to be discussed more. We all go to airports, so that's a contamination zone almost. Right. So you really have to practice what we know about washing your hands all the time. Right, exactly. And, and even though we don't know how it's transmitted all the way, we don't know if you're actually going to get this disease, it's just safe to say, hey, you know what? Walk through the airport, go through security, wash your hands right after. That's all, right? Right. Speaking of viruses, I mean, all viruses aren't bad. Uh, you have something cool to talk about, right, Jelani? All viruses aren't bad. Down in California, La Jolla at Stock Institute, what they're doing down there is amazing. They're turning cells that don't normally actually heal a wound yeah. into cells that heal wow. wounds. They inject viruses into the cell or into the actual area that has a chronic ulcer or something that's not healing. Right. And they turn those cells back into cells that can heal wow. that wound. That's really cool. I mean, gene reprogramming is something that's, that's gonna kinda change the face of the world. As a rehab doctor, I see plenty of really, really bad ulcers in people. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the older you get, right, the sicker you are, the harder it is for your body to heal itself, right? Right. I mean, and what do we do now? I mean, you might, you might your wound's gonna be packed with something. You, you may have to put a wound back in it. And it takes months and months and months right. to heal, right? It says that in the mice that they actually were treating, it took about 28 days to heal a major, that's a, that's a month to right. heal a major wound. I mean, imagine, if this is actually trench for human beings, right? The next thing we need to think about is if we heal this wound on the sick person, how do we get that wound to stay healed? Right, exactly. Right, right? that's gonna right. be the next question. Right, too, and a great thing too, is not it's not just ulcers, right? I mean, people with burns, think about that too. Or people who have traumas, who have really deep gashes, or really deep lacerations. I mean, right. imagine if it could heal much faster and also in a more efficient way, right? Decreasing infection, right? right. Decreasing right. scars. Right. I mean, this could change the whole, the whole face of the way we look at actual wounds in, in itself, right? Thank you for joining us, Doc Talk 360. We have one more episode this season for the last what? one of the season. Wow. Then we'll go into Already. season two. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you. We will see you next week, next Thursday. Make sure you follow us, subscribe, like our channel on YouTube, Facebook, and we have a new one, Veer, Veer. TV. Veer TV. It's basically the new, the new platform for virtual reality. Please check it out. V-E-E-R, Veer.